Hello, I am Attila Sucs, a software engineer at Collabora, and I will speak from improved font work text placement. So, the problem. I got a ticket where they said there are more or less space between characters. It, it was a font work text uh, with a curved lines and multiple lines. I showed the pictures, how it was seems like, and how PowerPoint uh, uh, displayed it. After my fix it's like this. Uh, well I noticed that the middle uh, line seems okay in this case but uh, the outer lines have more space between characters and in the inner lines there is less space. So the problem is after I checked uh, the code I seen that it calculates most things in non-curved uh, rectangle like this in the top uh, left part uh, here every line is the same length like uh, the same amount of text fits in every line but in reality uh, after uh, we display it as a curved text the outer line should be longer there should be more characters to fit here and the inner uh, curved line should be shorter well it's shorter but uh, uh, should uh, less character fit here but uh, they calculate uh, most things in a non-curved rectangle uh, at first the initialis font work data function uh, calculate the text area i mean it will check how many lines the text will be and it will uh, check uh, what uh, text will be for every lines and the next function uh, the calculate horizontal scaling factor function this will calculate a scale for the whole text if one of the line of the text is longer than it uh, fit to the rectangle then it will uh, uh, scale uh, the whole text to a smaller one uh, to fit into the rectangle uh, and uh, the other func function the next function is get font work outline this will create the outline of every character uh, i mean uh, the vector graphics uh, uh, display uh, the data uh, for the characters uh, they will be already scaled and uh, it will calculate an alignment for it uh, but it's uh, it's a hack uh, it will just position text to the uh, right side of the left or the left side of the rectangle uh, <coughs> and uh, it does not work in several cases uh, and the next function the fit text outlines to shape outlines uh, now this function will calculate uh, the curve uh, part of uh, this shape I mean it will calculate a curve and it will rotate uh, the characters and it will position the characters but uh, this function only calculate one curve I marked the, uh, the base curve line here with red line uh, <coughs> It calculates these curves, uh, it uh, positions the characters here and it, po uh, it rotates the characters here and it, it's okay, but after uh, it, uh, it uh, calculates the other lines, then it uh, not calculate uh, other curves, it just move the characters um, to the other uh, line. I mean, uh, the next line will be calculated to the same base curve and then move it with uh, uh, the normal vectors of the curve multiplied with uh, the line numbers how many lines we want to move it up or down uh, but these normal vectors uh, are not parallel, parallel with each other uh, so it means uh, why we move the letters they will go uh, <coughs> they will be separated or they will move closer to each other 
uh, that's why there will be more space or less space between of them uh, by the way it seems like if we scale the uh, line to a bigger or a smaller line i mean the characters are still the same size but the they uh, their position are scaled but it's not exactly a scale uh, for this i made an example <coughs> well this uh, this case uh, the text is uh, aligned to bottom and here is the baseline this uh, blue uh, line uh, it's rather a tall and not not a wide uh, curve line but uh, as i wrote uh, several other lines the most outer lines uh, uh, beca became a very different uh, curve it's rather a uh, wide uh, and non non a, not a tall uh, curve uh, <coughs> and uh, as it became bigger uh, other uh, different parts of the curve uh, grown differently for example the side parts of the uh, curve line uh, not grow too many too much it uh, it grow nearly the twice of the size uh, only just one character could fit between these characters but the top part of the uh, this small top part of the curved line grow a very very big time here i mean we could fit like 20 characters between these three characters it's because uh, uh, it's normal vectors change a lot in this small uh, distance while in the uh, sides uh, the normal vectors almost parallel to each other so this means we have to calculate every curve line if we want to make uh, uh, the text placements good uh, by the way here is a picture uh, a screenshot from my uh, fixed version where the characters fit uh, right there <coughs> and uh, what to do we uh, as i mentioned we should calculate every line uh, every curve line before uh, the scaling uh, function and well we have to rewrote well we should rewrote all the function that uh, uh, after this function this function and after this function uh, <coughs> because they usually don't care about uh, the length of the lines uh, they think there is only one uh, length and that's all but uh, here we should calculate different uh, line lengths uh, well i did not do this uh, first because it's much more work to rewrote all the functions and the second problem is uh, uh, it can cause uh, regressions or things that seems like regressions because this was not worked correctly and if i rewrote it and i don't uh, <coughs> well in some cases it can cannot be perfectly uh, uh, make and uh, i should have glitches and if if it has different glitches then it could seems like a regression but i will speak more about regressions uh, what's important here now that uh, i had to keep the old code uh, for the old documents so uh, what i did i overwritten only the most uh, core function what i mentioned the fit text outlines to shape outlines function uh, now it calculates uh, curves separately for every line and it will position characters there uh, i had to uh, uh, write an al alignment calculation too but i was not i could not eliminate the old alignment calculations because the 
old source code still need it uh, I mean in, in fallback cases we still need the old way of alignment calculation so I had to uh, undo the calculations in this function and then I use I had to calculate my own uh, alignment calculation uh, and uh, I had to keep the fallback uh, uh, old the old calculations a fallback method I also mentioned it uh, well I use the compact f compact flag uh, for all documents uh, well I uh, use it for uh, one line text too because it's almost the same well it's not totally the same because maybe the alignments different uh, <coughs> and uh, there is another case uh, if the curve line uh, become short enough it can cause problems uh, and some of the problems are impossible to solve uh, so because because of it I rather choose to fall back to the old calculation this way uh, to avoid the senseless regressions I mean <coughs> If it would be uh, wrong in a different way as if, if it was wrong in previously then some people could say it's a regression whatever uh, the impossible case I mentioned uh, here is a font work text uh, that is aligned to top that means the topmost line is the baseline every other line we write uh, to this font work will be uh, 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 become a shorter curved line under the baseline uh, and well base, uh, theoretically we can reach the point where the curved line would become just one point no, not a short line it can even become uh, one point without any length or uh, <laughs> or any size and in that case we are not able to put a whole text into one point so this is an impossible case um, and well if we write even more lines then mm, it will uh, it will invert uh, the curve and uh, now it's uh, display some very stupid things but uh, it was uh, uh, displayed like this before uh, I kept this wrong way of working <coughs> as it's impossible to solve well PowerPoint had a clever trick to avoid this they simply don't allow to uh, uh, change the uh, vertical alignment it will automatically uh, use uh, the one that cannot uh, have this impossible situation I mean if if you have this curve line uh, then uh, it uh, automatically choose to align to bottom so every curve line will be bigger and bigger if you have a different curve line then it may choose a different alignment but it, it always makes sure that uh, uh, the curve lines can be only bigger than the base lines well it's a safe way but it limits the users I mean LibreOffice still allows to change uh, uh, the vertical alignment here and yes we can make impossible stupid uh, situations but we can make a uh, good uh, uh, example too here is my example this is two aligned to top and this is the baseline at the top line but other lines I wrote less characters to it in it and it fits there so it's not a problem if there is more text in the line that it fix fit into the curved line then it becomes a problem and my code uh, far back to the old way and it will write uh, display something like this but as long as we keep
keep this uh, rule that we don't write too many letters into curve then it will uh, seems like this it, it, it will be okay uh, <coughs> and for about the future improvement possibilities I already mentioned that uh, uh, we could calculate every line uh, not in not just in the um, core function but before the scaling function and we could uh, use it uh, in every function uh, this could uh, be helpful because now uh, the scaling function does not check uh, uh, line lengths uh, and uh, the longer uh, curved lines uh, still not able to have more text as the baseline uh, now if you write more text uh, to, a, uh, to a longer curved line then it will think uh, it's not fit and it will scale down uh, if we would fix that uh, we would be able to write more text in the outer lines as we are able to uh, write into the baseline but beside of that there is still two things that we could uh, improve uh, I made a very special uh, example here uh, in impress and in powerpoint height sims where it's very special because this uh, base curve line is uh, well it, it's almost not a curved line because it has a very sharp edge in the top of it uh, and because this sharp edge, uh, uh <coughs> when I make uh, the outer curved lines, uh, in the very topmost curved line, uh, because uh, became like if it's not curved. Well, it has only three points in the curve. Uh, in the base curve line, it, it was uh, just a very short uh, uh, distance that I, I uh, scaled uh, and here it, it uh, is so uh, distant from each other this point uh, that uh, it seems like not curved I mean the um, calculated points I, uh, we connect with uh, linear uh, lines uh, I mean we could make it better if we would uh, calculate more curve points uh, while we calculate the outer curves uh, because now I just uh, calculated some curve points and then I scale up well not scale but I calculate the same points uh, with different uh, positions here we should uh, calculate more points if the points are distant from each other uh, looks like powerpoint do something like this uh, I did not do this because well, it's a very special case and I just find it uh, after I made my fix that I could even improve it but I'm not sure how many people want to put such a sharp edge in a <laughs> in a curve line but it can be improved the other thing which could be improved that uh, characters could overlap with each other you can see the powerpoint uh, mm, carefully put the characters so it does not overlap with each other uh, we could enchant it, it with easily maybe easily uh, by well right now uh, uh, we put the characters to the baseline like uh, we fit the middle of the characters into the curve I mean in the middle of the characters would be uh, on the curve and <coughs> if we uh, fit the bottom part of the characters to the curve then the, this text would, uh, would move a bit outside and probably it will not overlap with each other and here it will be more wide too there will be more space I, I think it would not overlap with each other but uh, uh, that uh, we use the bottom part is not good if the curve is a different shape 
so maybe we could uh, calculate a bit more complex thing about it like uh, we calculate the bottom and the top part as well and check which is big uh, which needs more space uh, and use that <coughs> and well even that case we could uh, uh, we may would need add some extra space in some cases like here uh, I think it, it it added some extra space between the two uh, letters uh, because it was not fit there so and uh, one more thing it's uh, uh, it's not uh, an improvement possibility but uh, rather just a note that in powerpoint it's not so precise as ours i mean the alignment uh, the lines sometimes a bit more right or more left uh, while our in our case the lines are perfectly centered because these are uh, aligned to center and well that's all uh, here is the link for the back ticket and the my uh, get it of the fix and that's all thank you